In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Today is the third Sunday of the second month of the Coptic years, the month of Baba. And most of the Gospels from now on talk about a miracle or a conversation, dialogue happened between Christ and others as well. Today, uh, they brought to Jesus a demon-possessed person. Uh, it's translated in Arabic, magnoon. Yani somebody is, has, is, is mad, or he has, is psychic, or is misbehaving wrongly. Somebody is not behaving right. But it, he was a demon-possessed. In some translations, yes, he is a psychic, or somebody is not normal. And this demon-possessed person was blind and mute. So he cast out the demon from this person, and the Pharisees was really compelled about this, and they said, no, he's, he's using the power of Belzebub. Belzebub, uh, yeah, they, they understand it like he's the chief demon, or the, or the devil, or something like this. So he's casting out devils by the power of a demon. demon, demons by the power of the devil. This person was blind and mute. Maybe he was also not normal. But actually, sin makes any person this way. Not literally, but in a different way. So there is madness. There is abnormality in people in different behaviors. For example, the abnormality of somebody is behaving with pride. With pride. He's behaving like he is somebody, everybody should respect him more than anybody else. If you remember in the Old Testament, Nebuchadnezzar, he said about himself, this is the great Babylon which I built. I built. Can you imagine somebody say, I built this city? Of course he didn't. Maybe he has the power or the money to build something, but he didn't build it. And God punished him for this pride soul he had in his mind. This prideness or this pride, God punished him to be like animals for seven years. Many people in the Old and the New Testament, they have this spirit of pride. They are proud of themselves. They don't remember that anything good they have in their life, in their mind, in their character, it's coming only from God because God gave it to you. Otherwise, otherwise would be like anybody else, maybe less. A lot of people think that they are something bigger than others. There is another abnormality or madness in lusts. People sometimes they get mad or they get abnormal in their behavior about their lust. God forbid for anybody uh, the lust of addiction. Can you imagine somebody needs his shot or needs the, the, his normal dosage of addiction? He is abnormal in his behavior. Abnormal. This is abnormality. Also, there are some people, they are running abnormally about their mind. They think that they think right and everybody else is, is thinking wrong. There is many attitudes and ideas going around in the, in, the, in, the, in the society around us. People think that this is the right, but others are not normal. This is what is right. And what you are doing or what you are thinking is not normal. Another thing this person was, he was blind. He was blind. And not blind literally, but the sinner could be blind in a different way. There is blindness, see the cause and the result of any sin, even though he ran after it. Everybody, everybody know that there is a day we're going to depart from this world. Everybody knows that there is a judgment day. 
There is a judgment day. Even in the epistle of Saint J James, he talks about the devils. The devils believe that there is a judgment day. And they, they believe and they know that the, the lake of fire is waiting for them. They know that. And everybody, almost the whole world, they believe that there is a judgment day. Even though he runs after sin, he runs after lust. And this is blindness. Can you imagine how blind it is to know or to catch something and you know it's, it's going to hurt you, it's going to harm you. Really, in the story, in the Old Testament of Samson, Shamshun. Samson, in the book of Judges, Delilah told him literally, literally, what I can do, what I can do so I can punish you. Maza yuf'al is lalak. How I can do so I can put you down. Can you imagine somebody is telling you that? What I can do to hurt you, to put you down. I want to hurt you bad. Tell me, what is the power, what is the secret around your power? What it is? And even though he even know that she will hurt him, he gave her the secret of his power. Unfortunately, he told her about his hair. And she really hurt him bad, and he pulled out his eyes. This is a blindness. This somebody cannot see how bad he will be hurt. Another, another kind of blindness, what happened today? The Pharisees saw that somebody is a demon possessed and he is healed. In another occasion, they saw somebody is born blind and now he has an eye and he can see. All of these things, and he did not see it right. One said it is, uh, he, is, uh, he is taking uh, demons out by the power of the devil. And somebody said, oh, no, this, this man is not from God because he heals on the, on the Sabbath. They cannot see the truth. The truth is he is the son of God. He is the Messiah. He is the one who was promised and was pro prophesied about him in the Old Testament. And they cannot, they cannot take it. That's why they are blind in their heart. There is many blindness living around us. There is people who see only the sins of others. The sins of others. But he doesn't see his sins or her sins. He sees that people are wrong. People are not thinking right. People are not behaving the right way. He sees many things around him, but he doesn't see himself wrong. Unfortunately. This is the trend around us, and everybody is judging everybody. But can you judge yourself? Can you judge yourself? Saint Ma'ar, Abu Ma'ar the Great, he told one of his disciples in, a, in an occasion, yeah, he was caught in act, and he told him, judge yourself before others and God judge you. Judge yourself before others and God will judge you. There is blindness and this blindness can hurt anyone in his spiritual life. Another thing is mute, muteness, muteness. Saint, uh, Saint John Chrysostom says about the blinding and muteness, the person who is demon possessed is blind, is, uh, is, is mute, cannot pray. And he is blind, he cannot see the, the, the act of God, the works of God around him. He is mute. He is mute because he cannot say the truth. Remember in the miracle of healing the blind or creating a new eye for the blind, the one who is blind, who is blind from his birth, what his parents said, the Pharisees asked his parents, come and give glory to God. How your son was healed. He was born blind, now he can see. Who did this to them? What this parents said, they did not see the truth. They did not say the truth. They said what? He is of age 
Ask him. يعني it is not an answer. The answer is you know or I don't know. You know, I know, I know who, 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 who healed him. I know who, who created this eye for him. Or I don't know. But they said something in the middle. Not yes, not you. يعني as we say, a political answer. Political. In the middle. Not yes, not no. So these parents are not saying the truth. Are not saying the truth. He is of age. Go and ask him. Saint Stephanos, when he talking in front of the Saint he dream, they cannot respond back to him. They could not respond back to him because of the wisdom he was talking. That's not muteness. That's declaring the truth. Unfortunately, many times we don't want to say the truth with the excuse not to hurt others. I don't want to hurt somebody, so I prefer to be mute. I prefer to be blind. I prefer not to comment. You can comment. And you can say the truth without hurting others. You can. Definitely there is wisdom from God to say the truth without hurting others. After this miracle and this person was cured, the Pharisees said that this person, that Christ, the, this person, this teacher, he is, he is casting out demons with the power of a devil. With the power of a devil. The Lord Jesus Christ can took this, could took this, respond personally. And he said, you think I am a demon possessed too and I cast demons with the power of the devil? He could have taken very personally. And he can respond to everybody and say, you, your sins is like this, your sins is like this, and you have sins like this. And he could respond it back. But he didn't take it personally. He, he responded back with logic. With logic. If I cast demons by the power of the devil, that means the kingdom of the devil will be fallen apart because there is two devils working against each other. Somebody is going into a person and somebody is casting him out. That means the devil kingdom will fall apart. But if I am casting out demons by the power of God, then the kingdom of God is coming to you. It's very logic. Think about it, it's right. But unfortunately, because of their blindness and because of their muteness, because they are demon possessed with other things in the world, unfortunately, they could not accept any answer. Would this Pharisees accept the answer Jesus said, if I am working against the devil by the power of the devil, his kingdom will fall apart? Will they accept it? Of course not. Actually, the invitation for us today is to find inside ourselves where and how I am blind, which the spot I cannot see, where and how I am mute, I cannot talk. Why? What is the reason? There is, uh, in, the, in driving, there is a blind spot. Where is this blind spot? When you drive, how you can see the blind spot? You turn around and look at it. It's very important to search for the blind spot you have in your life and to search for where you are mute because you want to hold the truth away so not you get hurt. It's important to search in my life about this as well. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.